Earlier today, reports claimed Johnny Depp was still furious with Disney with sources claiming the studio had blind dropped him from his iconic role in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise last year. However, sources close to the actor have now told Daily Express US that the claims are completely inaccurate. They added, people are just making things up about Johnny at this point. The sources also suggested the anniversary of the conclusion of Johnny and Amber's trial may be an instigator for these false reports. Fans have been eager to see the star return as Captain Jack Sparrow, but Johnny sparked concern last month as he candidly shared his state of mind during a press conference. A full year after the trial, Johnny made his comeback to the film circuit with his French film Jean Dubarry premiering at the Cannes Film Festival. At the festival, the Hollywood star voiced his reluctance to return to Hollywood at all as he felt the industry had boycotted him during his defamation trial. When asked by Deadline why he felt he had been boycotted, the actor simply replied, well, you'd have to not have a pulse to feel at that point, none of this is happening, it's just a weird joke or I have been asleep for 35 years. When you're asked to resign from a film you're doing because of something that is merely a bunch of kind of vowels and consonants floating in the air, you feel a boycott. Don't miss. Holly Willoughby's Schofield speech ripped apart by David Baddiel, reaction, Alan Carr slams fake friends coming out the woodwork after Paul O'Grady died, latest, Rod Stewart quits Toxic US for good as wife Penny tired of nuisance LA, insight, the Alice in Wonderland star declared he no longer thinks about Hollywood and doesn't have much further need for it, sharing some sympathy for people still in the industry saying they all want to be themselves but they can't, they must fall in line, conform. Fans feared these comments meant they would never see a return of Captain Jack Sparrow, with the recent inaccurate claims compounding their worries. Additionally, Disney Studios president Sean Bailey spoke to the New York Times last week confirming that the studio was looking to revive the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise but was non-committal to bringing Johnny back. Express has contacted Disney for comment.